Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can see today, I have another eyeshadow look for you guys. Even though I said I wasn't really going to be doing voiceovers anymore, here's another one <laughs> featuring my new box sprays and I'll definitely be posting a video soon talking all about those. But yeah, so first and foremost, I'm just going to be using the Take Me Back to Brazil palette by BH Cosmetics to complete this eyeshadow look. So I'm starting off with a regular green color and I'm just going to use that as my transition shade. So I'm just packing that on my lid. Next, I'm going to be going into that blue color and I'm also going to put that on my lid as well just to basically kind of like blend everything all together like as you can see on the other eye all the colors kind of just complement each other and i'm just taking like this navy blue slash purple just to darken up the crease because i really love a dark crease when it comes to my cut creases and then after that i'm just going to be using the makeup revolution cut crease canvas to help cut my crease and honestly guys this really is like a really good product when it does come to doing cut creases and it's affordable because I know the P. Louise is really good for that but the way my pockets is set up right now I can't really justify spending that much money on a product like that so so far this is definitely getting the job done in my opinion so if you guys need like a cheap dupe I would highly recommend the makeup revolution so just a little FYI save you guys some coins Next, I'm just gonna be going into that pretty yellow color and I'm basically just gonna pack that onto my lid on the inner corner. Well, you know what I mean, like inner lid, corner type of thing. You guys know what I'm basically talking about because you guys can see me doing it on camera. But yeah, so I'm basically just gonna put the yellow on first, then I'm gonna be using the green in the middle and then the blue at the very end of the tail. Next, I'm just going to be using my Wet n Wild Mega Liner, and I'm just going to use that to apply eyeliner on my eye, just to basically kind of pull everything all together. Next, going into my face, I'm using the No Pore Blum Primer. I was about to say concealer for a second, <laughs> but basically just going to apply that all over my face. And then I'm using my Balani Foundation. Guys, I'm telling you now, I know this is definitely not my shade anymore right now like your girl got a tan and I actually went to Walmart last night to pick up a new color so yeah like you guys can clearly see the difference between the foundation and my scalp basically and it's just it's crazy I know I see it I did something about it but since the video was already shot might as well still upload it anyways so yeah I just I know I know and it's bugging me but I know it's okay it's okay though it is okay because all together you know at the end it, it looks okay it looks decent it's fine it's fine but next I'm going into my LA girl pro concealer which again I need to get a new color in but it's fine and I'm just gonna put that on my face basically underneath my eyes on my chin I'm also going to be putting it on my forehead and, well, my five head now anyways, because my hair is braided back. So you can definitely see like the whole five head situation that I'm rocking with. But I'm basically putting it in all those places. And then I'm just going to blend that out in my beauty blender. And I'm just going to make sure that I go over my under eyes lash just so to allow the concealer to get a little bit more tacky so it can provide me with more coverage. I still cannot get over how big my forehead is. Oh my gosh. Then I'm going in with my Black Radiance Loose Setting Powder in the shade Banana and I'm basically just going to put that on all the places I put my concealer to help set it. Next I'm just going to be getting my regular powder brush and I'm just going to be sweeping the excess off my face because this powder is extremely messy guys. I will tell you that. 
Then I'm going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder and I'm basically just going to put that all over my face to kind of help blend everything all together, which thank God it did. Like it looks a lot better now. <laughs> and then I'm using the Cover Fix Face Palette. I'm using that contour shade to contour my face, of course, like I always tend to do in most cases when it does come to my makeup looks. I basically use the same products, but it's fine. If it works for me, I'm using it. But I'm basically just going to contour the rest of my face. So all that good fun stuff as you guys can see. Everything is just coming together. It is coming together. And then I'm going into my Wanderness Dust Till Dawn Blush and Highlighter Palette. I'm actually using the lighter pink side which I think I shouldn't have. But it's fine. And then I'm just going to be using the highlighter and the brightener from that Cover Fix Palette. And as you guys can see that highlight is really 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 good. I don't know why the look though on the left side of my face, I feel like my highlight always looks better than the right side, but yeah, I really, really, really do like this palette. I mean, honestly, I think I would pay full price for this because I got it off of my box, one of the boxy charm descriptions. I think I would actually pay full price for this because it is, it is very, very, very good in my opinion. And then I'm going to spray that Mario Rose water to set my face. Then going in with my lips, I'm just going to be using the NYX Retractable Lip Liner in the shade Sand Beige, I believe. And then for the rest of my lips, I'm just going to put on the NYX Butter Cloth in the, sh in the shade Madeline or Madeline, something like that. But other than that, that's the full look for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys like the eyeshadow look. You know, again, I'm not perfect right now, but every single time I do do an eyeshadow look, I do tend to get better slowly but surely. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next one.